Yellowstone super volcano has continual intrusion of basalt and it could be devastating to society if we have another super eruption. These are the claims of USGS scientists. These are the explanations given by Dr. Lowenstern. The Yellowstone volcano eruption could be absolutely devastating to modern society even if the likelihood of it happening is low. This is what USGS geologists spectacularly announced, even if the likelihood of happening is low. The Yellowstone supervolcano rests, as we know, northwest corner of the U.S. state of Wyoming, extending into Montana and Idaho. It's erupted three times in the past. The three caldera forming eruptions shaping the landscape around Yellowstone, covering the land in volcanic fallout, ash, and smoke. Yellowstone last erupted 640,000 years ago, and that's what formed the current day features of Yellowstone caldera. The geologists cannot predict when another such super eruption blast will go off, but if it matches the past eruptions, the results, of course, would be catastrophic. Jake Lowenstern, the geologist formerly in charge of Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, explained that another super eruption could be devastating even if the chances of it happening are minimal, of course. If it happens, it happens. Yellowstone Volcano monitored for worrying signs of activity by the YVO. It's a branch of the U.S. Geological Survey. The USGS tracks all instances of seismic and hydrothermal movement in order to gouge the volcano's potential for eruption. Unfortunately, even the most sophisticated instruments can't predict when the volcano will blow. There are currently no imminent or long-term signs the volcano is acting out of normal. If the Yellowstone supervolcano was to erupt in the foreseeable future, the blast would be preceded by intense and very obvious seismic activity Dr. Lowenstern explained, trying to serve as a source of public information on this topic is clearly a no-win deal. And yes, these kinds of events do occur somewhere on Earth every few ten thousand, tens or thousands of years. And yes, if it happens, it could be devastating to society. But, he says, no, there is a minimum chance Yellowstone is going to erupt this century and we are not hiding evidence to the contrary. Get over it, he says. According to the USGS, the next big blast most likely to occur at Yellowstone is a hydrothermal one, not an eruptive one. And from one of our past videos, this did happen in, a, in an area which is now a lake. That happened about 3,000 years ago and that was a quite a big lake actually. I can't remember the dimensions of it, but if, if you look at it, it's quite sizable. And that was from a hydrothermal blast about 3,000 years ago. He says, not all news concerning Yellowstone is bad. Dr. Lowenstern, who left his post at YVO in 2018, said he has many fond memories in his 15 years in the park. Writing for the weekly Caldera Chronicles of YVO, the geologist shared the five things he misses most about Yellowstone. Among his fondest memories are his hiking trips to the wilderness, the landscape, and the diverse wildlife of Yellowstone. Lowenstern says the geysers, where else do you get to work in a place with geysers? Somehow, however, steamboat geyser erupted only six times during my tenure, he said, including only two in the last 11 years somehow, somewhere. Somehow, Steamboat Geyser erupted only six times during my tenure, he says, including only two last 11 years, post-2006. With 68 and counting eruptions in 2018 and 2019, I'm starting to take this personally, he said. Okay, now one of our videos yesterday, we explained as to what happens somewhere in the world. There will be a super eruption, they say, about every 17,000 years. That's quite a short geological time frame if you if you take it into account of the Earth's history. 17th, every 17,000 years you have a super eruption. 
of a super volcano. And the last time this has happened was 26 and a half thousand years ago. So just for a source of information from uh, Wikipedia concerning super volcanoes, we have about 20 of them worldwide. Two of them, as we know, are, if, if there are, well, there must be some more that we may not know of, for example, in New Mexico. But we have Long Valley Caldera Supervolcano and we have Yellowstone Supervolcano. And those are two that we know of. They're very high threat and also they, have, they share the same magma body. Um, the supervolcano, a large volcano that has had an eruption with volcanic explosivity index of V8, the largest possible value on the index. This means the volume of deposit for that eruption is greater than 1,000 cubic kilometers or 240 cubic miles. Supervolcanoes are when magma in the mantle rises into the crust but is unable to break through and the pressure builds in a large growing magma pool until the crust is unable to continue and contain the pressure. This can occur at hot spots, for example, uh, Okay, one of them is Yellowstone, another is uh, Kilauea, Hawaii. Another one is Iceland. Okay, now if this can occur at hot spots, for example, Yellowstone Caldera, or at subduction zones, for example, Toba, the Toba eruption was 74,000 years ago, and that uh, was at an extinction level event. Very few animals, species survived that, and they, anthropologists say, just basically a thousand couples survived or not even 10,000 people. There was a bottlenecking. Very few humans survived that. Um, that was a super eruption. Now, large volume super volcanic eruptions are also often associated with large igneous provinces, which can cover up areas with lava and volcanic ash. These can cause long-lasting climate change, such as triggering a small ice age, and threaten species with extinction. An ice age, as we know, is a long period of reduction in the temperature of the Earth's surface and atmosphere, resulting in the presence or expansion of continental and polar ice sheets and alpine glaciers. Earth's climate alternates between ice ages and greenhouse periods, during which there are no glaciers. And threatening species with extinctions. An extinction event is a widespread and a rapid uh, decrease in the biodiversity on Earth, such as an event, an event is identified by a sharp change in the diversity and abundance of multicellular organisms. It occurs when the rate of extinction increases with respect to the rate of speciation. The Oruani eruption of New Zealand's Tapo volcano about 26 and a half thousand years ago was the world's most recent super eruption at a VE8 eruption, okay? They estimate that uh, this takes place about every 17,000 years, so we're basically 10,000, uh, sorry, yeah, about 10,000 years overdue a super eruption. Okay, this is from Wikipedia, and there is a list here of quite a few super eruptions that took place uh, in the United States, the continent of the United States. I'll leave a link below for you for that. You can take a look at the chart to see the dates of when that happened. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, 
And we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.